Oh, yeah. A new city planning game, you know? Do some nice stuff in. That's relaxing, you know, aesthetically pleasing stuff. You know? Stuff that'll make your eyeballs feel on fire. The, the, the good type of fire, though. The fires of pleasure and love and, uh, joy. Uh... Please enter a name for the new city. Please draw a logo for this. Okay. okay. There you go, look at that. It's Crack Pikachu. He's lighting up a fat one. That's probably an email you never really want to get. Congratulations, you're now the mayor of Pikachu. Oh yeah, this looks like a uh, great place to uh, start a cracked out empire for the Pokemon Pikachu. I guess we'll uh, start with a road, really, you know? Uh, every city was founded on its roads. It's a good road placement there. Just, it takes you straight into the sea. Yeah, to start your city, you need to build some residential zones and streets. You know, this is giving me a very striking resemblance to another game. Pokemon Go! There you go, wind turbines. I, I love the environment. You know, I love it so much. I'm, I'm going ahead and saving it by taking out the biggest polluter of all time, humanity, with my my suicide water. Hold on a sec, I don't think this is correct. Do I have to link up every single house with one of these giant power lines? <laughs> oh, okay, I'm already going some angry emails dedicated to the Pikachu hotmail hot uh, uh, right now. We've got some unemployment causes slow population growth. More industrial zones need it. Okay, we need to get the Pikachus in the mine. That's what they're trying to tell me. There you go, look at that. Uh, the power of industry right there, fueling our economy, and also probably churning little Pikachus down into Pika juice, which we can sell in the stores to these hungry people. Oh, I definitely just made the uh, <laughs> the, the suicide drive just a little bit worse, because at the end, you, you also drive through the sewage. Are we, are we making money now? Uh, uh, is this little, little bad boy dough? Well, that went up the right way! 342, that's a positive! Free, yeah, we're making some money! Uh, this is a very new feeling for me, people. I have, uh, <laughs> not done a lot of, a lot, a lot of successful things in my life, so, uh, Obviously, putting more housing down right next to the Pika factory is a good idea. Oh, I can't put down any educational buildings yet. Uh, it does kind of make sense, though, considering, um, you know, the fact that I'm putting down industrial buildings next to housing units, which, um, I think historically has never gone that great. So my lack of education is probably very telling and showing for this city's well-being. Uh, I can put down some trees, though, you know, just... Prettying the place up a little. Uh, I think I've got a full-blown riot brewing down deep because our citizens demand buses. Hey, you, know, you, want, you want a goddamn bus? I'll give you a goddamn bus, shall I? Yeah, look at that. It's a bus station that takes you from here all the way over to your favorite place in the city. Sewage suicide. Sewage side. Sewage suicide. Sh <laughs> I mean... Bar from what you might think from our logo, we are looking pretty damn good though. Got a lot of money coming in. We got a public transport coverage, pretty high unemployment rate, low crime rate. Yeah, you don't have to worry about that. It is a cracked out Pikachu town. I don't think we need to worry too much about that one. Uh, you know, I'm already kind of seeing a load of problems with my town. Most being that uh, I probably should have planned this out a bit more thoroughly. Uh, but at the same time, you know, I kind of like that chaotic look. Uh, it's really giving me like medieval town vibes. Where if you put down a butcher shop, by God, it's gonna be there for another thousand years until eventually the plague rolls around and it burns to the ground. Oh, I unlocked a high-density residential. That sounds pretty cool, but I'm not really quite at the high-density residential type dealio yet. But we also have the agricultural zone, which does sound more like the medieval town we are living in. Hello, we got our little Pikachu farm going. This is where we grow the little Pikachus and little Pikachu eggs right here and then once they are fully grown we take them over to the factory grind them up into little pikachu juices and we are building a town through the power of pikachu all right okay apparently unhappy citizens slow population growth uh you know what 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 do you guys have to be so upset about honestly if you're that upset i know a specific place you can go to you know forage your requests of unhappiness to oh uh, i got excited then um i unlocked something new and i said oh man this could be so cool you know but um all I unlocked was tree. Cost two thousand dollars to put down a um a square tree. That's two thousand dollars right there. Does it feel like two thousand dollars to you? Uh, maybe maybe I should try put down some high density residential zones, you know. But I should probably move it away from uh, this 
hellhole. I had to do a little switcheroo. I had to move the industrial zone from in the middle next to all the houses because apparently people don't like breathing in smog, all right, yeah, big baby. How ethical is it that I'm go growing our, you know, our food and produce right next to this sewage sewage hide hole? Is that bad? I don't know. I have a striking feeling that um, this isn't... That's not how trams work. Oh my god, okay, finally! We can teach these people that everything about this town is wrong! Sick. Is that a good idea, though? Are they gonna start questioning why their food tastes like sewage? Uh, I could put down a police station. But is that really the image I want of my Pikachu crack town? You know, giving off the impression that the crime is happening here? Does this look like a town that is... Crime filled. <laughs> Hold on a second. Uh, yeah, I'm not. I'm no like accountant or anything, but um, yeah, I, these numbers seem a little bit fudged. How am I still making money? Yes, in the uh, the cracked out world of uh, Pikachu land over here, <laughs> things just, just don't make no sense. God, my town's taking a, a hot mess turn for the worst. People are very not happy. Oh my God, they want trains. Trains. I didn't even know I had trains! I wasn't really paying much attention as to where I was putting these trains down. Uh, the tracks are kind of all over the place and it, it looks like there's already been some horrific accident. Uh, yeah, once again, I don't... I don't think that's 100% how trains be do working. I don't even- I don't even know what I just did. I mean, I just ran a train line for the middle of my commercial ditch crack. Oh, okay, there's a, there's been a horrific crash there. Uh, we cleaned that up pretty quickly though. Hey, look, just unlocked street with lights, you know? Now they want lights on the street! We are already, things aren't going too great right there. We got a bit of a fire burning! Don't worry about it, just, uh, little Pikachu got a bit too feisty, you know. Not to set it on fire. Oh, hold on a second. <laughs> I, uh, I doubt appear to have missed this one, though. Oh, those we have yeah, it's nothing important. It's just the train station that these, these little plebe- Oh, it's- Oh, god damn, we fixed it. We fixed it! I, I can put down high- Taxed residents now, which is pretty cool. Uh, I've also given them the street lights because you know they give me more money. I also uh, I put down a small park for them where they can enjoy a uh, a seesaw, a swing set, and these goddamn square tree things. I despise you and your confusing shape. Also, uh, whack down a little a little hospital down here for the uh, the rich people because you know the rich people deserve it because they uh they, well they give me more money. Okay, my um. My town is starting to get slightly out of hand, though, I won't lie. Hold on a second. What's going on here? But, uh, won't lie, getting a little overpopulated in this town right about now. Uh, might be time for a small plague at some point. You see, the good old-fashioned way of dealing with protesters, just let them protest in the middle of the road. The cars will take care of them. Yeah, I, I just, I don't even know what they're upset about, honestly. I've been running a great town filled with sewage uh, that I've been feeding the people, and, you know, the rich people get the hospitals, what's wrong with that? Oh, uh, I was wondering why everyone was so angry for a while, and apparently they just really, really wanted small parks everywhere. Really? Cactus? I could puck down a cactus? Thank you! That's $3,000 for that cactus! You might be wondering what happened to all those protesters. Uh, realistically, you don't need to worry, because I ate them. That's right, a growing city needs its fill of protesters. Day? Uh, you know, I don't think I need the solar thermal plan. I don't think I can quite manage the 80k a month it is to keep that thing running. I'd much rather just, uh, keep, keep putting down some windmills and, uh, eating people. That's just, you know, I'm not a barbarian, alright? I don't like throwing away money like that. Uh-oh. Okay, yep. Something happened. My city's on fire. You know, there's just something about seeing the ocean slowly turn red from the mass amounts of waste from my city that really fills me with joy. Oh, I can do a policy. The the plastic bag ban. The the plastic. Dude, I was about to institute like state-sponsored cannibalism. But the plastic bag ban will have to do. Oh, God, I just realized I got 98 unread emails. Um... I think it's probably too late to really get into them now. Is there's probably a lot of angry people that wanted something at some point that I may have ignored. Yeah, that's a, uh, yeah, that's a, that's a lot, that's a lot of angry people. Uh, sorry about that. Yeah, you know, same. Oh, my town's looking, uh, it's looking pretty good. I gotta say, uh, I have unfortunately, uh, I'm running out of space. Uh, I'm running out of space pretty goddamn hard. Uh, now I did deliberately go ahead and pick a medium-sized map, so it is kind of my fault, you know. I'll take the blame on that one, but at the same time, 
these people still want more. Uh, I got a lot of people complaining about uh, all the traffic and stuff and how there's a bit too much traffic on the road, but I, I'm scared to change a single thing about this city because I'm pretty sure just one wrong move and this whole rotten structure is about to come crumbling down. Uh, there wasn't a lot of planning put into the city. In fact, no, uh, there was no planning put into the city whatsoever. You know, we do have a massive budget surplus, though, which is pretty good. We've got 9.1 million dollar dues, which, uh, you know, there's not a lot to be proud of in this town, bar that time we ran over all those protesters, but that is one thing to be proud of. I right, just put in place the smart public transport, which apparently analyzes uh, the roads and stuff and creates the most optimal routes for people, which uh, kind of sounds like Skynet. Uh, so if you see my town suddenly overtaken by robots and just being on fire in general, you kind of know what happened. Yeah, I really gotta say, I, I, I enjoy the aesthetic of this game a lot. Uh, it's very clunky. Uh, it's it's not that well, you know, developed. There's not a lot in it at the moment, but I, I just really enjoy it. The upcoming internet meme race event will likely lead to temporary ex- ex- what I my, uh, my city has run to a complete standstill right now because somebody somewhere created a thing called Internet Meme Re Race Day. What is that? I was half expecting like 50 Pepe the Frogs running around my town, but no, it's just a whole bunch of, you know, emissions and traffic and... Boring. There you go, I've hit population 8,000 and now I can yeah, un <laughs> unleash religion on the people. There you go, we're just gonna call it the, uh... <laughs> oh god, <laughs> it stays on the map, too. <laughs> my, uh, my town's just on, on fire again, you know. It's, it's, it's actually the children's park that's on fire! <laughs> Alright, okay, a after a, a bunch of roads were destroyed that I can't be bothered to fix, uh, we're gonna call it there for today, guys. Uh, this was a little interesting game, a little city builder game that was, I think it's called Smart City Planner. Um, it's alright. Uh, yeah, Smart City Plan, very basic, uh, nothing too in-depth. I don't know if this is just a, uh, City Skylines cash grab, but, uh, I, re I really enjoy, uh, actually, the aesthetic, like I said, and if you guys want to check it out, link on Steam, because I will never remember to put it in the description. I guess if there's one thing I'd request more of, it'd probably be, you know, the ability to put pe people in prison for uh, their terrible meme races, uh, stuff like that, you know, uh, being able to keep the uh, secret police, you know, around, keep tabs on people who host meme race events, uh, just anyone that mentions meme race, uh, I'd like to be able to take them in the street and shoot them.